Argentina is a really cool place to go in the spring. Uh, one of the reasons I love going down there is that usually the best hunting is at the end of March, beginning of April, where nothing is going on in North America. You fly into Buenos Aires, which is a beautiful city. There's a ton to see there. In fact, one of my regrets when I go down there is that I never leave myself enough time to, to visit the city and see all the architecture. Uh, and art. It's, it's a great place if you go down and you should try to build in some extra time to, to stay in the city. The, the big draw for Argentina is their free range red stag. They're not as big as the stags that you're going to see people bringing pictures of from New Zealand, but you got to remember these are all free range stags that we're hunting here. They're not high fence stags and I don't know of any place that has better free range red stag hunting than Argentina. Typically on a stag hunt, you're going to go out early in the morning and late in the evening and you're listening for the, the stags to roar, uh, which is the equivalent of like a bugle for a North American elk. It's a really cool sound. It's hard to describe, but it's a rawr, rawr, rawr. It's a really deep, loud noise. It, it seems strange coming from an animal that looks like a deer. It sounds primeval almost. And when you're out in the dark in the morning, you can hear them all around you sometimes. It's, that's pretty cool. And so the way that we hunt them is that we go out in the dark and we listen for that roar. And then we try to get the wind right and you listen for a deeper, older sounding stag and then try to get downwind and make a stalk up on them. What we're looking for in the stags is obviously mass. Um, if they start to crown up top, that's a characteristic that, that guys like to have in a trophy stag. Um, but they have all kinds of configurations. Some are real wide, some are real tight, but have real long points. Um, they're, all, they're all great trophies. It's a, it's a very challenging hunt. <laughs> right down. Yeah. Huh? Good one, huh? <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. One of the other animals that's really fun to hunt in Argentina is the water buffalo. Uh, I've done a lot of Cape buffalo hunting and the water buffalo in Argentina act almost identical to a Cape buffalo. Depending on if they're in the open or in the thick stuff, they can act completely different. Sometimes they seem almost docile, other times they're really, really aggressive. That's part of what makes them fun to hunt. The, the water buffalo are actually a fair bit bigger than a Cape buffalo. A big Cape buffalo will be somewhere in the 15 to 1600 pound range. These water buffalo in Argentina will get up to 2,200, 2,300 pounds. They're a huge animal. You need to bring a big rifle if you're going to hunt them. Yeah, 375 is the minimum I'd recommend. On top of the buffalo and the red stag, there's actually a bunch of other incidental species in Argentina. There's mouflon, there's dorset sheep, there's black buck, there's fallow deer. Um, so it's, it's almost like a mini African plains game so far. There's a lot of different species to hunt. You never know exactly what you're going to come across when you go out in the field in the morning. One of the other things that's really fun about going to Argentina is that the food is out of this world. Uh, the Argentinians are very proud of their cooking heritage, if you will, and so they feed you top shelf while you're there. Uh, you will not come home from Argentina 
weighing less than when you went. In fact, you're likely to come home with a couple extra pounds under the belt. One of the other things that's great about a big game hunt in Argentina is that when it's done, you can go do some wing shooting. That's what Argentina is famous for, and for good reason, because it is an absolute blast. There are more birds down there than you can possibly imagine, and it's nothing to go through 500 or 1,000 shells in a half a day of shooting there. You actually shoot so much, so fast, that you, uh, you'll look down and there's a pile of 500 shells below you, and your, your arm will just give up, it's enough and the doves will just be still coming by the hundreds. It's a really, really fun part of the hunt. The accommodations at the ranch that we hunt are beautiful. Uh, it's pretty cushy living in terms of a hunting camp. Uh, the beds are, it's, it's as comfortable as your home probably. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. You don't need any special immunizations to go to Argentina. The people are super friendly. Um, getting into the country with your guns is no big deal. You have to fill out a couple forms, but we take care of all that in advance. It's a very comfortable, pleasant place to go on a hunt.